This is a quick reminder of the different uses of brackets in Mathematica. First we'll look at curly brackets, which we can use for vectors, and options and built-in functions. We can define a vector A with curly brackets and comma separated elements. We can define matrices by creating a vector that has vectors for its elements. Now we'll go ahead and put those in matrix form. And there are several ways we can use curly brackets within built-in functions. For example, we use curly brackets to define the horizontal limits of the plot function. So say we want to plot 1 over x, then we use curly brackets to let x go from 1 to 5. Now shift enter. And finally, curly brackets, as an, another example of options and built-in functions, can also be used to define the limits of the iterator i in the table function. So let's create another table a with i and curly brackets to let i go from 1 to 5. And let's look at that in matrix form as well. Shift enter. And here we have our vector going from 1 to 5. Now scrolling down, let's go take a look at square brackets. Square brackets are used for calling elements inside of vectors and matrices and also for using built-in functions. If we want to call elements from a matrix or a vector, we use double square brackets. For example, um, if we look at our vector A up here, the first element in the vector A is A, double square bracket 1. And if we look at B, which scrolling up, we have all the way up here, the first row in matrix B is also just going to be B, double square bracket 1, and let's shift enter. Now, in the case of a matrix, if we want a specific element, all we need is a comma. So let's say we want element number 2 and column number 1 in matrix B. That would just be B, double square bracket 2 for row 2, and then 1 for column 1. Shift enter. And we also use square brackets for all of our built in functions. So now, let's say we want to transpose B, we use a square bracket, our input, and shift enter to evaluate, and there's our transpose. Finally, let's take a look at round brackets, which we really just use for calculations. So for example, let's define an expression A. Three times, and then we'll use round brackets. We can use full simplify to get this expression into its simplified form. And we can also use expand to get rid of the round brackets in the output and expand the expression. Shift enter. And here are all of our outputs.
that's it for our very first tutorial. Good luck with your labs.